लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर मोर वीडियोस फ्रॉम पी एच एन लर्न फॉर मोर वीडियोस डाउनलोड आर आप फॉर द प्ले स्टोर हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो डेवलपमेंट ट्यूटोरियल बाय पी एच एन टेक्नोलॉजी प्राइवेट लिमिटेड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट अ इंटरनल मोबाइल यूटिलिटी दैट इज ब्लूटूथ ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू मेक एन एप्लीकेशन टू कंट्रोल द इंटरनल ब्लूटूथ ऑफ द मोबाइल फोन वी कैन टर्न इट ऑन एंड ऑफ यूजिंग अवर मोबाइल ऐप let's begin so i have already added a android project and i have done this designing part i have used linear layout vertical in this linear layout vertical first text view just to display that we are going to do bluetooth operations then we ha i have taken a button to turn the bluetooth on and the second button to turn the bluetooth off okay uh, and that's it so this is about the designing the detailed designing of an activity is covered in the previous videos so those who are new to this video please refer the previous videos for designing part okay next we have to go to the programming because we have to click handle the click event of on and off button so in my activity main activity dot java file we have created two objects of button class button on comma off objects are created above this on create method and we are initializing those objects on or off inside the on create method using find view by id the explanation for this functions this objects is already present in the previous video please go through it if you are new okay next what we have to do is we have to create an on click event like when user presses on clicks the on button something should happen so we have to listen that click event for that purpose we will do on dot set on click listener new space capital o enter so this is the click event of on button means bluetooth should turn on now how to turn it before turning it on we should check whether it is already on okay so if bluetooth is already on no action should happen if it is off then and then only we can turn it on so for that purpose first of all we will have to get an object of bluetooth adapter the handle of the bluetooth bluetooth sorry bluetooth adapter let's say bt equals to bluetooth adapter dot get default adapter we are using the default adapter of the mobile phone now we it is not widely used nowadays but we can connect external bluetooth device to our mobile phone also okay so if internal model is not working so uh, in the previous models it used to happen so we can connect an external bluetooth this is just to indicate that we are using the default bluetooth of the mobile phone and no any external device okay we got the handle of the default bluetooth adapter of your mobile phone now first we have to check whether it is on or off so if bt dot is enabled means bluetooth is already enabled now we are getting an error on this line let's see what is this error missing permission required by bluetooth adapter android dot permission dot bluetooth we are using an internal act uh utility so we have to request the permission for that in manifest file so we'll go to the manifest file here we will add the permission users permission bluetooth sorry bluetooth okay now this bluetooth or any permission should be added above the application tag okay yeah bluetooth this error is resolved now here if bluetooth is already enabled should we uh, shall we perform any operation no so we will print a simple message saying already on so bluetooth is already on sorry and else in the else section we will turn it on manually so to turn it on we'll have to use first we'll have to make it enable means bt dot enable when i am saying bt dot enable again it is showing me error what is the error let's check so it is showing me missing permission for bluetooth admin when we are changing the state of the hardware it should we should be the admin for changing now this bt dot enable error is gone and 
Here we will print a toast message saying turned on. So when user clicks on on button, it will first check the state of the Bluetooth. If it is disabled, means if it is not enabled, we will make it enable in the on button. Now next button is off. We have to write the click event for off as well which should be written after the on button. So this after this semicolon you have to write for the off button. Off dot set on click listener new space capital O enter. Okay. Now here into this again we will have to create the handler for the Bluetooth. So Bluetooth adapter BT equals to Bluetooth adapter dot get default adapter. Now again while turning it off we must check whether it is on or not. So condition will be same if BT dot is enabled means Bluetooth is already enabled. So in that case only we have to turn it off means we have to make it disable and we will print a message turned off means see if Bluetooth is enabled, then make it disable and print the message turned off. Else, means if Bluetooth is not enabled and still user is pressing on the off button, so we will simply show the toast message as already off. Okay, so app is now installed successfully and when I, so if you check the state of your Bluetooth, right now it is on. Okay, if I Okay, so if I click on turn on button again, it is showing me already on. Okay, whereas if I click on turn off now, it has turned the Bluetooth off. Okay, so Bluetooth is now turned off. Now if I click on off again, it is already off, so it will don't it will not change the state of the Bluetooth. If I click on turn on, okay, so say here it turned the Bluetooth on, and we will get a message turned on. Again clicking on turn on will not change its state. So in this way we have controlled our Bluetooth, internal Bluetooth using our own app. That is it for the video, keep practicing. Thank you. Thank you. For more videos download our app from the Play Store.